Look at my children. They are buried my husband. As I'm talking to you now, they just buried my husband. My husband, my maternal family. They are buried my husband. They are buried because of property. Because they want to collect this property from us. That was that's the reason why they buried him in an undisclosed, undisclosed land. A man that he spent 25 years in Europe. A man that spent 24 years in Europe. We are legally married. We will take the this video I just showed you a clip of it broke my heart so much. Have you seen a situation where a mother points out where her own child will be buried? Have you seen a situation where a mother discourse and concludes on how her child will be buried? Like in Nyonga Buzo, she's always at front, planning the burial of her own son. Have you seen that? I thought when a woman lost her son, she would be so cold. It is only in this video, in this woman's story that I have seen, sorry, that I've heard of a situation where a mother is planning her son's burial and she also buried her son herself without the wife, without the man's children. This is so unusual and so unbelievable. I found it difficult to believe this woman, but when you look in depth, when you look like, like the pain she's going through, you will know that she's telling you the simple truth of what happened. At a point, you see that she's even confused. If you watch the video, you know that the woman, like she's, she's already having mental issues. She's, oh, she, like she, she's going through a lot. She don't even know the date of today. She, like with the way she's talking, you know that this woman is so confused. They have dealt with her and her men, like, like her brain, they shake. The woman don't see her in the hands of her mother-in-law. Can't we women love our fellow woman? What is this hatred between mothers and their daughter-in-laws? I don't seem to understand it at all. I don't seem to understand it. Why can't you welcome your daughter-in-law with all your heart and love them? How can a mother plan to kill her own son just for property? Hey! It is not even her husband's property, but your own son's property is the reason why this mother killed her son just to collect all the documents. This young man has spent 24 good years in Europe. Yeah. After treating it in Europe, it was not really getting better. But according to the, the wife, she said he was getting a bit better before they brought him back to Nigeria so that they would treat him through the traditional ways. And the mother did this. Some of you will not believe it. You will think this is a, like I'm just capping off with fabricating something. Watch this video for your end. And tell me what you think. How could a mother do this kind of thing to her own daughter-in-law? To her own grandchildren? You don't mind about the children. I thought they, uh, there, there is this tradition in both in Delta states, among Igbos, among Isokos, Edo's, Yorubas, that before a man will be buried, that his grown-up children will pour sand into the grave. This mother buried her son, who already have children, four children, and the wife was not aware. The children were not aware. They, did not, they could not even pay their father the, the last respect. What kind of evil is this? They buried him in an undisclosed, undisclosed land. A man that he spent 25 years in Europe. A man that spent 25 years in Europe. We are legally married. We will take charge it. The governor of Edo State, Governor Obaseki, you people should come to my rescue. I'm a right. widow with four right. children. Oba Binio, everybody. Edo State, Nigeria, everybody come to my rescue. Uh, my heart is heavy. My heart is heavy. I'm a widow with four children. My okay. husband, my husband just, my husband died in, my husband was sick in Europe. They diagnosed him of uh, cancer and he was brought to Nigeria to find other means of treating him. They brought him to Nigeria. When they came to Nigeria, when we, we, they brought him to Nigeria, his family, I never knew they had, they had some conspiracy. I never knew they had other uh, uh, plans of killing him. So when they brought him to Nigeria, me and the auntie and the, some of the relatives, we went to the airport to receive him. We took him to, the, to, uh, to, to Lutz, Lagos University Teaching Hospital. There in Lutz, we spent about five days there. 
because the auntie saw the auntie and the mom and the relative they saw their evil uh, 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 conspiracy they could not uh, achieve it there they now uh, discharged him from loot they took took him to Bagada General Hospital because of the auntie's connection there because the auntie have a little connection in Bagada, Bagada General Hospital so in Bagada General Hospital that we took, we took a private ward where the family was coming to different kind of manipulation. The, the mother would come with different kind of mercy, water, spiritual mercy, and be poor putting on his body in the hospital. There are other clips I can even show to back up these clips that will back up this uh, the nonsense, the, the manipulation in the hospital. In the hospital, then I was not begging them that please, this woman they brought him from the, one of the best hospital in Europe. That they ask him, they discharge him that they should go take him to Nigeria to spend the remaining days with his family. That they should please release him, discharge him, let, him, let us take him to Benito, look, look for other means of treating him. The family were not, they were not fighting me, they were, in fact, every day in the hospital, it was fight here and there, every day in the hospital. From there, they knock on knife, they drove me out of the hospital. Even the passport, the, my husband's document, all the things he belongs, the things he brought from Europe, his, uh, his document. Is an um, international passport. They forcefully collected all those things. My husband gave it to me immediately. He came out from the airport. It, 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 it gave those things to me. When that day they were driving me from the hospital, they forcefully collected those things from my hand. And they drove me out of the hospital. I left to my sister's place in Lagos. In, in, inside Lagos, there. it was during the, that period of a, a cash scarcity, that uh, during election period. So, I, even before I left, I told my husband I should not worry that I'm going to pray for him, that I'm not living, I'm not even living, the, living in Lagos, that I'm still in Lagos, that I will come back and see him. So I now left for my sister's place. Coming back after uh, the election, after the election, and I came back. When I came back, I met a different person. My husband was like, in fact, he, he was like a living, he was, he was already dead. He was just struggling with life. And then when I even came, I met, I met uh, life support inside the room. My husband was he was he was struggling with this thing. I even met him. He was even telling his he was not aggressive. My husband is a very quiet and calm person. He was aggressive. I was not asking the sister. I asked the sister, sister, what happened? Why is he? Why why did his condition deteriorate like this? What happened to him? I said, why is he not aggressive? He said he started, she started with that. The whole thing started started yesterday. The, my husband. I met my husband. He was he was screaming. He was asking. The only thing he was even saying he was saying. That was what was my husband was that was what my husband was saying. As he was saying it, saying it to the mother. Even when they dropped me out of the hospital, the mother, the mother that was pretending that she was sick, the mother came came to the hospital to say, Have you ever have you seen where a sick person will come to the hospital to be nursing a sick person, taking care of a sick person? When they dropped me out of the hospital, because I was since my presence there, they could not achieve what they wanted to do. That was why, with the help of the auntie and the auntie's husband, one Mr. Chima, Chima, the auntie's husband, one Mr. Chima Wongogo was the one that even stood his ground that I must leave the hospital. So, God, I'm tired. So when they drove me out of the hospital, when I now came back, as I asked my husband, I, I now asked my, the, the sister, so, why is the condition? Why what happened? Why is this condition deteriorated to this extent? She now said she's tired, but she don't know what happened though. That since yesterday the condition just started was not aggressive, was just picking on anybody. Anybody that talked to him was not picking on anybody. It was grooming in pain and everything. So the mother, it was when I came that I even learned that the mother was not staying. Immediately I left the hospital, the mother came to be staying with them inside the hospital so that she can be able to carry out her evil manipulation, the evil things that they were doing that they could not do when I was there, they started doing it. So that day as I was there, my husband was still grooming in pain. I was not helping. I tried to carry him up. The, the, the auntie said, I should leave, I should not. I said, how dare you tell me? My husband is grooming in pain. You are telling him he should, he should, I should not touch him. He said, there, the mother started shouting, that I've come again, oh, that I've come again, oh, that the, 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 the auntie now went outside to call the, the securities and the nurses that they should come, oh, that there is a mad person here. So when they came, the mother fought me, tore my clothes, Pinch my neck, they not drove me out of the hospital. That same day again that I came back to come and stay with my husband in the hospital. They drove me out of the hospital and, uh, and I left. So when I left, because when I was even coming to Lagos to receive him, I came with my children. For like more than one month before that time, my children were not, they were out of school. So when I just saw that, 
I have lost it. I cannot fight the battle alone again. Even my relatives in the back home, they were ever telling me that I should, they want to come to Lagos to come and back me up because I was telling everybody what I was going through. They said, even they said they want to go to the palace to, 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 to inform the palace so that the palace will because my husband's mother took him away from the Patana family. He's not, he does not know, he took him away from the Patana family. So, so when we went for the burial, the Patana family, they don't know much about him. So they asked me and the mother in the meeting that we should tell, tell them about the, my husband's achievement. That was how we told them everything. We told them everything. The mother was lying. In fact, the whole family now saw it that the woman killed the son because of his properties. Because she was just lying and saying, uh, saying rubbish. So the, the things, the papers in our custody, they asked us to bring it before the barrier. The ones in my custody, I submitted it, I took it to, to the family. The ones they asked the mother to bring, the mother refused to bring it. So they now fixed a date. They said we should come back for that. They said we should fix a date and invite them so that they will come and uh, they carry out the barrier. We came back, the brother, the half-brother fixed a date and informed the maternal family. The maternal family said, because the maternal family, they said the ass, this is the ass he built. This is the ass he built. They said this is the, this is, this is the only uh, ass he has completed. This is where he's going to be buried. The mother now flew up. He said, that they will, he said over a dead body, will they allow, they, will, 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 will she allow my husband to be buried in the ass? Said, because she's living in the ass. For that reason, my husband saying beneath tradition, they don't bury Somebody's his own ass he built with his money. The mother said he, he will not be buried in the house. So that was how it was not talking about tradition. That was how we went to the upper palace. We went to upper palace so that the chiefs there they can tell us on how to go. Whether in, in, in beneath tradition, whether if somebody built a house and the person puts his mother in the house, if the person passed on, if the person cannot be buried in the house. That was how we went to the palace. We went to the palace. They serve her paper. She didn't come. She, she, she refused to come. When the day of the, 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 the sitting, they now called, they called, they now called the chiefs, they now called her. When they called her, she said, she now ran to the princess of uh, the uh, monarch. She, uh, she ran to, to the princess that she was not finished. She went to lie, on, lie to the princess. I don't know what she went to tell the princess. So the princess stood by her. That was the reason why she did not come and answer the summer in the in Oba Palace. So after then again, we went to Zone Five to tell the, the officer that went us that told us to go and to go and uh, resolve the issue. So we went back to him. The officer was kind of surprised. He said, so we have not buried this man all this while. He now said, okay, how what happened? We now told the officer. He now asked us to invite the Patana family and the Matana family. Let him hear from them. So that <clears throat> so we invited them. They came. They spoke. The mother the mother was still standing at ground. The officer told, her, told the mother that it's, it's a taboo in Bini, that in, in, in Bini tradition that a mother is not supposed to be talking, talking about his, uh, where they will bury his son. So as far as the, maternal, the paternal family they've spoken, anything you people will say, even though you take the matter to the palace or to the court, they are they, they, they are where stand because they have the they are the one that is going to carry out the burial. So the only thing we are going to do now is to plead on. Plead. He says so on behalf of the family. He want to plead. That since my mom is saying he want, they want to see my husband's uh, grave outside. He want to plead to the family that they should bury him in one of our rooms so that mama will not be seeing his grave outside. Mama says stood on it that over a dead body she will not allow my husband to be buried in the house. Why I came now to cry to the good people of Edo State and the good people of Nigeria that they should come and fight this fight for a widow with four children. A widow with four children because I don't know after today now, as I'm talking to you right now, today being the, what is today's date? To today being 22, my husband, to 23 of uh, August, uh, 20, today being uh, 23 of uh, May. They just buried my husband, I don't know. They went to purchase a land. I don't know where, at Utesi community, where they went to bed. They took, in fact, the matter, we went to, uh, we heard about the, 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 the barrier. So we went to uh, the same zone five to report it. They asked us to write petition. We wrote a petition to zone five for them to give us officers to stop the barrier. And we got to zone five today to pick up the, the petition. Petition that they have already approved. The officer that went to collect the petition, he came and said the petition, they, they approved the petition. Later, they, they, they canceled the petition. They said the mother came and, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, bribed them. And bribed them. That is why they canceled the petition. So they, they, they could not give us officers to... to Look at my husband's compound. They have opened because of our picture, our wedding pictures. We did everything. Please, you should come outside and see the kind of... This, 
the acres of land that this man owned, 100 by 130, there is no land. Please, my brother, come. Come and show these people. Come put this sketch for me if you give me the key. <laughs> This is my husband's compound. Come and see the pot of land, my husband. That is not buried in here. Look at the compound. 100 by 130 acres of land. Come and see it. You people should come, come and see. Good people of Edo State, look at. Look at my husband's compound. Look at space everywhere. He hold this compound. He hold other property. This thing. Look at. The mother and the family, they went to bury my sister. I don't know where they acquired it. Look at the car. When he bought, he, when he, 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 when he, after building this house, he asked the mother to pack him. The mother said, if he does not give him mobility, he will not come. That was how the, my, my husband bought this car for the mom. This car. Since he bought the car for the mom, he has not come to Nigeria. After buying the car for the mother, he had a problem in Europe that held him in Europe for over five years. Coming to Nigeria, and I came with sickness, and they killed him in Lagos. Killing him in Lagos. Have you people seen where my father family buries a man? They bury me with that. With fuck me, um, legal man. Look at the last picture we took before he left Nigeria. Look at it, look at it. The last picture we took together as a family before my husband left Nigeria for you for, for left Nigeria. Look at my last baby. It was seven months when my husband left. Come and see the child now. This child is going to six years now. The, the child is six years now. This child does not know the father. Nigeria, I don't stay, I don't stay. Oh, God, God, look at this, the, this, the, the, the baby. Look at the baby now. The baby is a big boy now. The boy does he have not seen the daddy.